News just in! A lanky, skinny Irish guy has now formed a news channel with a handsome, gorgeous, beautiful Irish guy to make a new TV series called TNN, where we bring you the most fantastic in- 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 words- English- Welcome, folks, to TNN News. New series for the React channel where we will be covering very much irrelevant information. Drown out. Whatever is important in the world, we're not going to be talking about that. So, we hope you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron getting banned, but you got on banned seven days. I guess it's good if you want them banned, but it's... <laughs> it depends on the kind of side you're on. Look at all these. What the f News just in. Lady with has been banned multiple times <laughs> in the space of two hours. Banned for seven days, then comes back and then banned for another three hours. Then banned, then banned for another day. How does that work? What do you do? What necessitates seven days, then three hours, then a day? Is one <laughs> worth three hours? And then <laughs> how many cheeks is worth seven days? How does that work? What's the point in banning for three hours? <laughs> What's the point in that? We're back again, folks, with one of our longtime friends and partners, Manscaped. They've sponsored today's video and they are offering the best grooming tools for every modern man out there. Let's talk about the boys, not the TV show, but the trimmers that will revolutionize the way you groom. Meet the Lawnmower 3.0 Plus, the Lawnmower 4.0 Pro, and the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the trio of trimmers that have got your back, or shall we say, your front. First up, the Lawnmower 3.0 Plus. And unboxing this beautiful piece of tech is like opening a treasure chest. The sleek design and the ergonomic build scream quality. All the Gen 2 ceramic blade with the skin-safe technology ensures a cut-free grooming experience. Moving on to the Lawnmower 4.0 Pro. It's a game changer with its powerful motor, travel lock feature, and wireless charging capability. Say goodbye to last-minute battery anxiety. Last but not least, folks, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, which takes precision grooming to the next level with its dual blade system and the LED lighting designed for all skin tones. Plus, all three trimmers are absolutely waterproof. So whether you like to do your stuff in the shower or trim up the old fellas downstairs in your sink, cleanup is an absolute breeze. So what are you waiting for? Treat the boys with some manscape that they deserve. And here's another reason, if you haven't enough, use our code NTR20 for 20% off along with free international shipping at manscaped.com. Link in the top of the description and pin comment. And as always, folks, we hope you enjoy. <laughs> I would love if we were able to uh, report what exactly got her banned for seven days. Well, Brian, that's why we started this series. Amaranth banned Twitch. Let's find out. Has been unbanned after one week. Why is it so hard just to keep her banned? <laughs> what did she get banned for? That's the issue. Let me do let me do background TNN reporting. Dude, look how many Twitch streamers get banned. And a wardrobe malfunction. When was this? 28th of January. Wardrobe well, well, malfunction. Brian's got to be researching this by himself now. One second. Incognito. Incognito <laughs> here real quick. So they're saying a potential viewer bot. Is that? Uh, I, who knows? Who knows? But uh, man, look at the people that get banned on Are Twitch. Are you saying there's a reoccurring theme in some of these no, bands? No, no. Is that what I'm you're not, alluding to? Not at all. We want you all to know, the, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here at TNN, we do not have any sexual bias whatsoever. This is independent journalism here at its no very best on all no platforms. We come guys. in with independent news, with an independent no mindset, and no bias no, whatsoever. Guys, it's honestly a mystery why these women could be getting banned. Maybe they're saying bad words. Oh, Oh my gosh, Brian, Fuck. this person, Mira, has been banned 12 times. <laughs> 12 times in the space of a few years. Yeah. Three days, 15 hours a day, four days a day, a day, seven days a day, a day, three hours, eight hours. What is the point of banning? <laughs> 12 times banned. Oh my gosh, dude. Sheesh, are you telling me there's no correlation, bro? Are you telling me there's no correlation, dude? Look <laughs> at I get this one, Brian. Brian. Oh my, oh Jesus, <laughs> I, yeah. I would think this person's definitely been banned a lot. Nine times, she nine be times banned. they've been She'll banned. She'll be banned alone for that goddamn profile picture. <laughs> Holy God, Jesus. So God. this is the tweet where Amaranth got like announced banned on the streamer band's Twitter. Mm -hmm. This person replied, what the hell for this time, Twitch? He got his profile picture. Oh, bro. 30, 33 working part-time. 
enjoy wrestling and video games. I am telling you, it's always the three things. Anime, furry, wrestling. Like, th <laughs> those are like the main three. Anime, furry, wrestling. And, it, and I'm telling you, about 85% of the time, it's wrestling. Oh. Like, wrestling is insane. The amount of tism that is going on in the WWE is insane. Did you find out why she got banned? No, it's just like she got banned. It seems like there's no, there's no reason yet. All right, well... Moving on, that was the first thing. <laughs> Next up, In Ross apologizes to Twitch and asks for an unban. He's been banned for over a year. Has he done his time? All right, Kai, I'm gonna, yo, Twitch. Yo, put the camera on me, Dante. Come I love the shit. Twitch, I'm genuinely sorry from the bottom of my heart. Can you please unban me? Give me one more chance, bro. I just wanna collaborate with my favorite people. Please. Why would they unban him when they're going to- Holy Fuck. Jesus Christ, he just got flashbanged. I just saw the, the beginning of time. I, I was scrolling down to see the replies. God, Jesus, never so scroll on Twitch, Twitter, man. <laughs> yeah, whoa, I just saw the creation of man. So it makes absolutely no sense for Twitch to unban him when clearly all he's going to be doing is to work with Get people who again. are partnered. No, 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 <laughs> who are partnered on Twitch to then do collaboration streams on, on his platform on of Kick. Kick. To promote it Kick. would make no business sense whatsoever for them to unban him. I don't even know why he got banned. He was banned due to his use of hateful slurs or symbols after he uttered a homophobic slur on fellow Twitch streamer Your Rage's livestream. So he said the F slur and got permanently banned. There's some more Twitch news here. That was tough. We lost out on a lot of big deals. Dr. Disrespect broke his silence on the 2020 Twitch ban, revealing he had a potential deal with Nike. Oh. And he had a huge deal with a sunglasses company. So he lost brand deals because he got banned. Ah. Sounds, sounds about, sounds about right. We still don't know why he got banned, but you remember that one guy, Slasher, tweeting out, I know why he got banned, but I'm not telling anyone. <laughs> I always remember that tweet from Slasher. But from, from, allegedly, okay, this is TNN news, we're not exactly the most spot on. We're a completely independent and non-biased news source. We don't research, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about, but here we, we are. We learn the news along with you guys. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's the, the whole way. concept that's of the, this that, channel. That's a good point. Is yeah. If you want to learn the news with people that don't know the news and it's all new news to those people, this is the channel for you. TNN, yeah. welcome. So allegedly, I think I heard uh, somewhere, somehow, from someone on something. Allegedly. That basically he was doing bargaining between different companies on where to get a stream deal. And he was mm -hmm. lying about different percentages and money he was getting from other companies. He's basically inflating certain numbers in order to get a better deal. He could have done an old inspect element job on some of his yeah, analytics. Inspect yeah. element. And then change, oh, let's bump those numbers up a bit and then yeah. uh, submit it to these guys and say, hey, yeah. this is uh, how much I, money I, I normally I will be getting. What I allegedly heard was that, like, basically, he'd say, I'm getting this X amount of, from this deal with Twitch. Can you give me more, YouTube? And then, YouTube, I'm now getting this X amount from Twitch. Uh, yada, yada. Or YouTube, I'm now getting X amount of this from, you know, just he basically, mm. like, pitted companies against each other. I potentially lied about the details of what he was getting from other companies. That's allegedly. Allegedly, that's allegedly. guys. And some people would call that smart business. <laughs> some people would call it good business. The best kind of business. It's all about making good deals. Big deals. Nike <laughs> shoes. Huge and deals. And so aviator Huge. deals. These are the best. I, I only make the best deals. And also sometimes I lie and I grab my <laughs> But that's not it. CNN, TNN, fake news. So that is all very loosely allegedly. If you ever get banned on Twitch, Brian, I'm tweeting this. <laughs> I'm tweeting this. I know. Oh, Brian got cancelled, but unfortunately, guys, it's it upset me a lot. Very I'm very upset about it, and I can't. <laughs> I, I, I just had to let you know. So, yeah, the mystery of Dr. Disrespect evolves. So basically, Slasher right there told a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Also, Brian, if you're wondering why people are getting banned on this. Twitch, oh, you've already, already seen know. it. I already know. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> it's Fortnite. absolutely shameless. <laughs> and and didn't Twitch come out with a new thing no, about no, like uh, banning people, basically fixating content on sexual, around on yeah, certain on parts of the body stuff? Yeah, so basically you can't do this anymore. You know what? You have to give it to her. That's never been done really before. That is not that I know. And it's creative. Oh my gosh, look at that text. Five gifted equals creamy treat. <laughs> do you know what would be hilarious? Oh. And do you know what? Look, if she pulled cream where her shield is and farted out. <laughs>
<laughs> I'd be gifted something. They're built different, Brian. <laughs> They're built different. <laughs> oh, creamy treat. Oh my goodness. What the fuck? Which meta evolves? What's the meta? Put oh a camera underneath God. your glass what chair and fuck? sit down. Someone Christ. commented, wait, this isn't strip chat? No, Bro. it's Twitch. <laughs> like... Nova Rude. That person has ne definitely been banned. They've never been no banned. No ban. They've never been fucking banned. Oh my gosh. She's never been banned. I can't find it. I gotta, I, I can't, I know, I can't believe it. I gotta type in their name and banned. No, they have gotten banned. False alarm, guys. They've been banned nine times. Okay, don't use streamer brand search. It, it won't work. <laughs> their search engine sucks. <laughs> But, uh, you know, no, they've been banned. They've been banned uh, nine times. This is what actually happens inside an $18,000 three-day alpha male boot camp that claims to make you a real man. You don't fucking deserve to be here fucking quick. You piece of shit. Is that the fucking actor? He looks like no TV series. Power white guy actor. See? Doesn't he fucking look like him? <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> no, that could be him. Joseph Sakura. That is him. Is that Joseph Sakura? What are you doing, bro? Let's see how this goes. <laughs> All right, play the clip. Find. Play the clip. <laughs> Breaking news, folks. I want to be a better man. I want to be a better husband. I want to be a better father. No, I want to be I a better, you fucking whiny that. piece of shit. Damn. None of you deserve to be here. Dude, people are just paying to be abused by their dad. <laughs> like, is that what this is? Back. Belly. They didn't even get a chance to go on their back. Dude. You know that guy gets turned on doing this stuff. There's some weird kink. He probably goes home and gets, like, yeah. you know, absolutely dominated. Oh, true, true. It's like a bipolar thing where he likes to dominate men, but then get dominated himself. Get over here. Where's you? You, fucking slow, fat one. <laughs> Get over here! Quitter, so fat one. Okay, oh, that was quit. funny. I give him that. I give him that. that. Sit down. Sit out right here. This is like weird male, like, you know, BDSM, that they enjoy being, like, yeah, bullied by a man. Emotional. Emotional BDSM. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> emotional. Lene treats me like this every day. You don't have to pay 18 grand. Just get in a relationship. This is BDSM. Crawl and suffer until you're done with that cookie. Till the both of you are done sharing that fucking cookie. Go. <laughs> this is, this is bondage. This is, yeah. We don't want to eat this cookie, <laughs> sir. <laughs> yeah, he just goes, I'm diabetic. I can't. I can't do I'm it, sir. Because you're a quitter. No, because I'm diabetic, yeah, sir. Sounds like you're a quitter. All I'm hearing are excuses, soldier. Eat this goddamn cookie. <laughs> I can't, sir. Eat the fucking cookie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> until you're done eating it. SNL needs to do a comedy sketch on this. For sure, right? They have to. It's too easy not to. Oh, this is so good. Here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Are you these are the same guys that like women with high heels to stand on their nuts that's like an amaranth camp whoever wins gets to be at amaranth <laughs> what a show that would be i'm not trying to give her any ideas but if she ever had a tv show it should be like physical competition of a bunch of simps with moves that fight to become fit and alpha or her hand in, I don't know, just to hold her hand. <laughs> oh, I've got a great name for that. <laughs> what would we call? Simply the best. <gasps> oh my gosh, dude, you need it. You need to tweet Amrad right now. <laughs> Welcome to the show where we find out who is simply the best. <laughs> yeah, I love it. That is great. This is a New York homeowner got arrested for trying to evict squatters. Squatters' rights infuriates me. I would love her just to whip out the Vanos Gaming G Mod AK admin gun and just go <laughs> just put them down you shouldn't be trying to steal my house yes you are so adele you're getting arrested right now I'm being arrested for what for being in my for being in my own home adele andaloro says the intruders moved in about six weeks ago they changed the entire front door and lock of her home i don't want this exactly yes. she does yes but then once again you should know how the law works I and do know how it there's, works. There's rules to this. There's rules to this shit. You need to know this. You know, I'm a fucking bum to society. I don't pay my fucking taxes. I don't do fucking shit. You gotta know, I have rights. All I do is smoke weed and jerk off the Amaranth. <laughs> I can't afford rent. I'm saving up $18,000 so I can get my balls set down by that drill sergeant. And also, I want to be in that game show simply the best so I can get the Amaranth to, you know, f fart in bathwater and I can suck it up. 
okay? Tough times here in New York. You gotta go to court and send me to civil court. The woman managed to get inside and lock the squatters out, but the men Damn. stormed back inside. Ah, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Call the police again. The men called the police on her and got her arrested for the illegal eviction. So why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because technically he can't be kicked out. He needs to go to court. They claimed they've been renting the property since October, but failed to provide any documentation. That By the time no that someone sense. does their investigation, How we'll be well over the 30 days, and this man will have stolen my home. That makes absolutely no sense. Like, you can't even prove that you're renting, but just saying, I'm re uh, I'm. I did I'm renting. Right, yeah, yeah. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Like, Dude, it is mind-blowing. That is so funny. Or they're obviously going to lose in court, but you have to pay to go to court. Yeah. It takes months to go through it. And then you still have to get them out, even after yeah. court says yeah. to. And yeah. then that they, if they refuse, you've got to go to court again to enforce it. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, I hate America. Sorry. I hate that. I, hate America. I really do. I feel so bad for her. Kick IRL streamers. Oh boy. I love them. The new wave. He got banned after getting into a fight for touching strangers' food. Dude, what? I already don't like his face. I already don't like his face. He's got a very pun. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's a child. It's a child. It's a child. Yep. But Independent cannot, news here. I can not like news. someone's face. I'm allowed to not like someone's face, so. Yeah. It's just an opinion. I, uh, my intrusive thoughts almost won there. Oh my gosh, she squared up to him. No, 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 no. Not just this person. Wait for the muscle. All of your phones. No, no. That's the job. Take the phones, man. Don't put your hand in my food again. Watch the phone. Do not do that. You don't do that to people. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Stop filming me. You're a nobody. It's a live stream. You can't Here's the muscle. Here's the muscle. Give me the phone. Now you're not touching my phone. Do yeah, I honestly, honestly, <laughs> those two guys would get absolutely smashed by her. This guy stepped yeah. in, right? He stepped in. Let's watch this, watch this. Like he stepped in and he was like, actually, no, I don't think so. I'm going to step back. Do you, do you, all right, hold up. Do you, don't do that again. Hold up, yeah, shut the Okay. Oh my gosh, it didn't end up with him getting punched in the head. No. Damn it. Dude, Kick is AIDS. If Kick ever wants to be taken seriously, it needs to get rid of these absolute shithead IRL rice gums. Fucking Aiden Ross garbage, dude. This is painful. What's his name? Jack D Jack Doherty. Oh my gosh, dude. How old is Jack Doherty? He's old enough for me to say I want to punch him in the face. Let's have a look. That's ex that's exactly it. Like that is the most punchable oh, this is punchable so face. To look at for a guy throwing a mallet at a Lamborghini. That is only got sixty seven likes. I could put a mallet next to a 2002 Toyota Corolla and I'd get way more likes than that. What the fuck is going on? How is this guy so relevant but irrelevant simultaneously? No one likes him. He's a he's a young lol cow. Damn, look at those dislikes. Oh, damn, dude. 6K dislikes. Shit. That is a lot of dislikes. How did he get the 40 million subs? But now he's so hated. He's just been around for absolutely forever, but just hops on any trend that is remotely popular. I know I fell off, but jeez, jeez, this guy is fucking insane. He got 70k views in a video where the, a Ferrari was required to be bought. <laughs> Once you buy your Ferrari, you don't get 70k views. Most normal and socially adept Hassan fan. No, I can't watch this. No, I no, can't. You have to. No, you have no. to. No. <laughs> okay, so I got to the point where she said, you have to stop doing whatever. You clicked off? Yeah, I oh, clicked okay. off. Well, now you're going to watch the whole clip. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry, I forgot really to say, lovely. you need to stop drinking Coke Zero on stream. Why? It's boycott. Wait, is it? You're um, preaching pro-Palestine and you're drinking all these boycotts up, please, Thank you. Hassan. <laughs> At least pretend, do it off stream, oh, please. Okay, I'll put, it in, I'll put it in a glass. <laughs> is Pepsi okay? No! Is it? <laughs> no soda, Hassan. I didn't know, I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> I've been trying to stop using that. <laughs> oh my god. 
what was she saying? It's pro-Israel? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, Coke Zero is being boycotted by I don't know who because <laughs> it's going on the shelves and off the shelves. So, <laughs> so I don't know who's boycotting Coke Zero. I literally just would have said to her, yep, you got it. I won't do it. And that's it. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I love how she said, just pretend. <laughs> Just yeah. pretend. We don't actually have to be virtuous and follow through on our beliefs. We just have to pretend and show them publicly, which honestly, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree because that pretty much sums up his ad. Isn't there a law in Islam where men are allowed to lie? They're encouraged to lie. You can't lie to fellow Muslim, but you can lie to non-Muslims. Yeah, there is a word for it. Um, oh, let me Google it. That's the war. It's an action of committing a sinful act such as feigning unbelief for a pious goal. So basically, virtue signaling is okay in Islam. <laughs> and this person definitely Just knows pretend. it. Just pretend. And this person as well definitely <laughs> knows it. <laughs> oh, man. To be honest, I don't see the point in boycotting products. For me, anyway, I feel like it's pretty futile because it maybe might last a week or two or a month or whatever, but, you know, I think Coke owns most soda companies anyway. That's why Hassan was like, is Pepsi okay? No. Yeah, Coke and Pepsi. <laughs> so, it's like, so it's like, shit, why am I gonna fucking drink? Me and Brian go to Centra and we get like this Centra soda that tastes you like shit You get the, yeah, yeah, you get TK. <laughs> we get like TK or whatever, like, is this, is this a, a pro-Israel or on, TK? Yeah, this is what you can drink, Hassan. This is what you can drink freeway, freeway cola. cola. That's what you can get, Hassan. You can get freeway cola. Because as far as I know, little isn't pro Israel. Actually, is it? Oh no, little. It shows that an Israeli supplier for its baby products. <laughs> oh well, they're getting boycotted. No freeway. The freeway has been <laughs> shut canceled. down. Little canceled. Imagine thinking you can lead a revolution against hundreds of millions of people, but then getting completely bodied by a Christian boomer in a powder blue cardigan in front of your beer. This is the classic religion meets college campuses, and <laughs> there's so many legendary clips of. Uh, college campuses and people arguing with what's basically opposed. Yeah, yeah, I've seen your man that sits down and he just has a conversation. Yeah, that's Stephen people. Crowder. Now he's a bit of a knob. No, but... uh, no not Stephen Crowder. There's another guy that does it. There's another guy who's kind of similar to Crowder. Who cares about f***ing respect? They want to kill my friends. They want to kill me. They want to kill my family. Who, who wants to kill you? Conservatives and mega That's oh, what I'm talking I've got about. Many the homophobe. All right. Want... You know how many people f***ing capitalism has killed since it's. Oh, this guy. <laughs> this guy is great. Do you know how many views capitalism has got me since its inception? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love it, dude. All right, let's talk about... Let's talk about how many... See, even, even he was laughing. He can't even take him <laughs> yeah. serious. Let's talk about anything else. <laughs> Anyone else with a, with a question? To be fair, this guy's People, a nice guy. atheists have killed. Atheism killed? Yep. <laughs> I'm an anime villain. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Do you know how many people capitalists have murdered? <laughs> oh, you fool, stupid Saiyan. Do you know who I am? I'm the prince of the left. <laughs> you know what? I'm not against the guy's fifth, but why is he in an argument screaming with his arms crossed? That's strange. That's a defense mechanism. Arms close is like you're comforting yourself. That's a not yourself. a confidence yeah. stance. The guy is doubling down. Was You're the most uninformed mother seen on the planet, and a demagogue. Really? Yeah. A demagogue. Demagogue. A demagogue. Oh yeah. Demagogue is a political leader who seeks support by appealing to the desires and prejudices of ordinary people rather than using rational argument. Yes, use <laughs> rational that, argument where you that? just yell, "You're a dumbass motherfucker." He started his argument with, "They're fucking trying to kill us." Ooh, you goddamn stupid mega bitches. Rational arguments here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. The guy not screaming is a demagogue. Was Mao Zedong an atheist? Yes. Mao Zedong people? was the leader of the people. Mao Zedong was a leader of the people. So let's check if he's atheist. Uh, Mao is an atheist. Okay. Yeah, there you go. How many did he kill? 48 million. <laughs> <laughs> How many people did Mao Zedong, as an atheist, murder? Good. All right. Roughly around 100 million. A land Mao Zedong, an atheist, murdered. How many people did Joseph Stalin? Another atheist murder. How many people did Joseph Stalin murder? 20 million. Okay. I like how they're all Googling. So, <laughs> let's talk about how atheism opens you up to slaughtering people. 
Why? Why does atheism <laughs> slow open up? I knew he was going to laugh. You foolish Christian. You activated my trap card. I don't really care much for what the Christian has to say because, like, it's kind of obvious what you should respond, but I want to see this guy. For human beings and we have an, in, an innate value that isn't defined by some ornate religious order. We are defined by our, our common interest in keeping each other alive. And the only people that want to destroy that are the enemies of the people and they should be destroyed in a revolution. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Okay. Those guys in the back clapping are bullshit and they're like, yeah, yeah, keep talking, you <laughs> idiot. Encourage, encourage him even more. He needed that clap though. He needed it. Shut the f up. Is that respecting the people? No, I don't give a Counter revolutionaries are not going to be respected, and I will fight to defend that. Shit. I will fight in the streets. I will fight here. I'll fight anywhere. I'm going to fight for the revolution, no matter how many mother conservatives come after me. You can kill me, but there will be ten more in my place. You all, the conservatives, enemy of mother people. Wait, no, wait a second. Yeah, what a speech, man. In a different time and place, that would have slapped. Yeah, we had Michael Collins. They had this guy. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it's like, there's a Michael Collins speech, and then there's this guy. Fuck everyone. Fuck you all. Okay? If I lose, someone else will come along and replace me with a slightly more purple shirt. They want to kill my friends. They want to kill me. They want to kill my family. Who, who wants to kill you? Conservatives and mega Judge, that's oh, what I'm talking about. Well, the homophobes. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a conservative mega I don't want to kill you. Bro, I love Trump, but I don't want to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look, dude. I don't really take a political stance on this stuff. I stay neutral and enjoy the popcorn, man. That's it. That's the only way you can enjoy this shit. It's the only way you can enjoy American politics, period. If you're picking a side and you're super, like, vehement about it, you can end up like that guy on either side. So, ah, uh, I'll just have a crappy rec channel and laugh. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Oh my gosh, I love Asmongold's dad. I thought you gave Conrad 7 and those other guys a hard time. That's what Conrad said. I personally don't make any judgments on a topic that I did my research. Now, you might or might not be wrong in the situation, but as for AZ versus Ackman, you took one side without checking the full context. I think that's what people are trying to argue here, although poorly. If you want to go and fucking argue about something, you should at least know what the fuck you're going to say. Like, you and can't that's just exactly go. exactly what they're saying to you. <laughs> but the difference Go. was that I didn't miss anything. An hour and a half stun lock after watching 90 seconds out of a 27 minutes video. You looked at the whole video. No, I didn't watch the whole video. No, see, so you didn't watch the whole video. Well, then so what did you, I miss out Did on? you talk about the video? I did. Did you talk about the video like a general video or you say the, the part of the video I saw? You didn't say that, did you? No, I wasn't talking about either one of them. I was talking about the analysis that people had of the video. People well, have an analysis you know of the video. Well, how what huh? Because the analysis exists separate from the video itself. Dude, that so, is like, for example, bullshit, yeah. if the video exists and then people are watching the video and then they have an opinion about the video, then you can talk about the opinion without necessarily seeing the video. <laughs> I love the dad. Well, how the hell can you do that if you don't how know How can you what make your own opinion? opinion? I have no yeah. problem admitting that I'm wrong. Which is the last time. You know what you're talking about. I do. And you don't. Oh, you didn't see the whole fucking video. You don't need to. How do you know? Why do you? How can you say that? Because I've seen 50 other videos that are just like this. I've been through internet <laughs> dramas that are just like this. Well, I talked about it for too long. I talked about it for like an hour. Well, hey, what a surprise. You know, you gotta. I told you, you need to. Yeah, dial it in. Yeah, dial it, dial it back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What a legend. Bro, his dad needs a Twitch. What a man. To be honest, I think the real reason he didn't watch the video is this guy reacts a lot, right? A lot. Like, he posts a ton of clips and this man is on, on it. The second anything happens, he, he's already reacted to it and he's got a bunch of clips. Yeah, he hasn't got time to get a full in-depth, like, research done. He is pumping them out. Yeah, this man is pumping. Them out. I would say it gets pretty numbing, you know what I mean? It gets pretty numbing. So I, 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 I'd say he's in a place now where he just wants to react to whatever he wants to react to. And he just wants to do his little ramble and that's it. And he just got cut out. That's <laughs> how so he got cut out. Hands down. Dad spanked him. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was it. But I didn't watch the video either, so I can't really pose an opinion. <laughs> We just watched a summary there. Handful crypto guy. Oh, here we go. And I've learned so much about this guy just because of Scotty's Twitter. The haters won't believe 
that the women of New York all choose rich. Yeah, this guy is fucking memes, bro. Good morning, haters. A poor person named Jane decided to publish my dating app profile. <laughs> this is his Bumble. Oh my gosh, 42. Oh, dude, 42 on Bumble. Resulting in the most prominent moment of her entire life. As a result, I'm ditching the apps and I'm asking real life women if they're down to go on a date. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> you know, honestly, fair Bro, fucking oh, juice. That freeze, that freeze frame. Fair juice to him, though. Going out in real life, man. What's your name? Anna. Leona. Serena. I'm Mina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mina. <laughs> Dude, you cannot possibly think he has a chance in yeah, this situation. Look at her. God damn. You she's cannot gorgeous. possibly wow. think he has a chance. Talk about out of your league. Look, look at the two people in the background. Like, I want to see how this plays out. I ain't missing this shit. <laughs> this is three be incredibly eligible bachelors on the other side of this card. And you're going to make a decision as to whether or not you swipe left or right on each of them. Right means yes. Left means no. All right. Are we swiping right or left? Left. <laughs> Left. <laughs> oh, that's you. Right, uh, oh, no, still left. <laughs> I would say right. Right. Sure, right. Let's go. You chose Rich. Thanks for choosing Rich. What would you say are the key elements of the guys that you're into? Ambitious, creative one, self made, know how to make me laugh, humble. Well, you literally just described me. Oh, so humble. So <laughs> humble. Rich, rich, me. rich. So humble. My whole thing is about being rich. <laughs> you just described me. Uh, I, I think this guy's playing along well. He's playing the heel. I live in Brooklyn. I actually was there last night. Really? What part of Brooklyn? Um, Williamsburg. Why did you seem hesitant? Was that another date with another guy who was choosing Rich? Are you cheating on me already? Do you choose Rich? I choose Rich. <laughs> I chose Rich. I choose Rich every time. Turns out there were a lot of poor people in the park today, but unsurprisingly, <laughs> I found the richest women here, and one of them will undoubtedly become my future wife. How about them apples, Jane? I'll see you in the next video, and remember, choose Rich. It's 20 bucks. Oh, what? <laughs> Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm rich. <laughs> and I'm incredibly humble. Very be humble. Yeah, there it is. Look. Good for you, Nick. Love that you lean in. Very commendable. See, it's actually making him likable. He was super hated, but then he kind of, you know, was able to take a joke about himself. And uh, yeah, that's it. Enjoying my Easter from the yacht. He posted the picture. Oh my god. What a nose. <laughs> uh, apparently this one is community notes. This guy gets a lot of community notes. Cheers to my haters from the NYC penthouse. Bottle Nick is holding does not cost $5,000. And in fact, a bottle of Attinger champagne that costs less than 85. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. A message in my community notes. It is visible in the reflection of his sunglasses that the driver is wearing street clothes and not formal attire that a private chauffeur would wear. He's clearly in a Lyft or Uber. <laughs> 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 Morning haters from my helipad. Nick has claimed that this is helipad. However, a quick look around Google Maps shows that this is a helipad owned and operated by Manhattan helicopter. It's like your man from uh, here in my garage. He used to do videos from like his mansion in LA, blah, blah, blah. Turned shit, out he, was yeah. just, he was just renting Airbnbs. He had like a new mansion mansion every single week and it turned out it was just airbnbs i love him because i think he's self-aware i get what you're saying he's like he keeps attacking his haters and like it's that relationship yeah. that keeps him relevant yeah yeah but now people are starting to like him because he's actually funny just released the video where he goes and he says he forced to drop his apex legend team moist esports not a great name entire roster just so they can be allowed in the u.s you had to drop his entire team because because of immigration we have to release one of the best teams in the entire Apex circuit. Because that's the only way they're going to be allowed in the country. They can come here as long as they're not being represented by us. As long as they are not represented by any org right now, they can come here and compete. So that's our only option, because we obviously want the best for these guys. We want them to shine at the weird, major. Weird one. So in order to do that, we have to let them go. It's like that fucking scene in Pokemon where Ash sets down the Pikachu and runs away crying. That's us. That is literally <laughs> what we have to do with our team right now. We have to cut them so that way they can compete at the major because we're out of time. We can't resubmit again because this process is abominably fucking slow. Weeks mm. just to get two sentences back from the U.S. immigration dinosaurs, the fucking fossils that are just bones and dust in those chairs at the agency there. <laughs> Damn, like, he's we going can't in. do this again because we don't have time. The major is right around the corner. So we are officially releasing the Moist Apex Squad. Unfortunately, we got the bad ending to this fucking playthrough here. And it's no fault of our own, by the way. We did everything by the books. Oh, he is pissed. No, I have yeah. never seen Charlie, like, ever, ever mad. 
<laughs> I don't F like it. <laughs> Jesus is angry. I will say I've never seen a creator start an esports and it do well. It always seems to be just a huge money pit. And then also the orgs make you pay a huge amount of money to join each competition. Like it, and it just and How much money do we even any, get from the They barely make anything in the end. Like it's, it's like you have to do, you obviously have to be one of the top three. The only logic I can see behind it is for, is for taxes. I can only see it just as a way to like burn excess money. <laughs> Yeah, I it's guess. I, thing, I don't know. It's the only thing I can see it being beneficial towards. Memes are taking a step forward. Oh, yes. Brian's AI. Basically swapping video. Brian popped on this one fast, didn't you? You were on the ball with this, bro. I woke up and Brian already had this made. Dude, who made this? We did. We're Figgle. <laughs> just you Figgle? Just... That's it? It's that easy? Yeah, yeah, I just made a picture full standing, trimmed out the background, and then just uploaded it. <laughs> it did my backside very dirty. I've got a much bigger badonkadonk than that. I was very upset with how I imagine my ass. Pretty impressive how it did the back of the jersey and everything. Yeah, I've got one I think you'd like. This is what AI was created for, right? <laughs> <laughs> we get Brian front row, front row. <laughs> hands up, hands up for your leader. Yeah, it's so fucking good, dude. Dumb shit you get on Twitter. Second someone's dead, you know how disliked they were, depending on how heavily memed they are in a negative light. If you're put in the same pool as Hitler in a meme after you die, not a good sign. When someone is really likable who dies, there's like. It's almost like a respect from the internet to not mean it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Great insight. Great, great, great contribution <laughs> to the TNN news, folks. No idea where he's going. Game characters get a pump up. Oh, so this is like the original tweet. Wait, what? There's a Fallout TV show, and this is the woman on it on the left. And apparently the show is pretty solid. Yeah, I heard it's good. And this is the AI. This is what... Uh, this is what gamers really want on the right. Um, top commenters go outside with 57,000 likes. So the, this was heated, bro. 30 million views, an absolutely insane amount of quotes. This is what crippling porn addiction looks like. <laughs> 190k <laughs> likes. That's good. That's good. Uh, I don't know how that like causes so much like distress. Yeah, I don't know why it's it's just it just hit a nerve. It hit a nerve, big time. We got a few tweets, you know, responding to such. <laughs> oh my God. Who's Abby? This is Abby from The Last of Us. <laughs> Bro, this is some weird, like, have you ever seen on Instagram, and I'm sure it's on other platforms, there's like these AI female, like, they make like these accounts for, it's clearly an AI woman doing this very yeah. thirsty kind of post. Yeah. And it's all these guys that are so fucking dumb. You can only listen to one head at a time. And you're like, it's clearly okay. not a real person. Doesn't matter. You can only listen to one head at a time, Brian. And if the bottom head is full of blood, you're not listening to the top one. Yeah, That's yeah, just yeah, how yeah. it works, dude. I know. Has Aaliyah said that to you before? Because Lene said that to me. No, I realized that myself. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I didn't need to be told. Oh, man. They're just obsessed with women in video games. Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> Uh, I, they saw this tweet and they're like, I, I'm sorry, I had to fix this. This is the type of people that shitty Chinese games that are free, but make women. Oh my like, God, yeah. Make like MMO, yeah. RPG, whatever, open world shitty Chinese game. I may or may not be playing one after this session. Oh, well, well, well. I'm sure it will have quite a rambunctious. <laughs> Oh, it definitely uh, does. It definitely, definitely does. It. When you open up the launcher for the game, you're presented with said female. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. wow. All right, well, there you go. Hit the nail on the head. But those type of games are made for this type of guy. Digital ownership of games is a problem.
problem. Who would have fucking guessed? Ubisoft is deleting the crew from players' libraries, reminding us we own nothing. Oh my gosh. Imagine putting like 100 wow. hours into a no, game. Also, imagine paying for the game. And paying for the game, but you only get it That's for the main thing. however long you get it. Pulling license from paying customers now that the servers have shut down. And they don't get refunded. That I do not like. But when you pay for a product, you own it. You buy a brush or a broom from Home Depot or whatever. Yeah, you've got you it pay forever. for it. You own it. They can't just come into your house and say, give me that back. You can't. At that stage, you, you should just be renting games. I even yeah, own them. Then don't even say buy. Even don't, yeah, it shouldn't be buy. It should be rent. I'm not a fan personally of like servers being shut down either. Even though I understand why, because it costs money to keep servers. It costs up. money to keep servers. Yeah. Well, I'm like, can you find a fix around where people can maybe like peer to peer or something in private lobbies? They just shut everything down. Like pri private, public, the whole shebang. I know that there's a lot of old Call of Duty games that got pri uh, the server shut down. It sucks. It sucks. I, th I think it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse, not better. This is worrying. I don't care about the crew, but this is a, like an early start where, where this will like evolve and continue and get probably even worse like yeah. if you buy a game you should you own it of there course, should be yeah. no right whatsoever from them being able to come and just take something away from you i understand if they cut the online service i guess there is like a terms and conditions that you don't know, normally we men we scroll past and we just go straight to accept i'm sure in there there's some saying like you know once the online services are done then that's they're it done, blah, blah. Done, but yeah. there should be campaign there should be basic playing like time trials or whatever that you can do offline and like there should be a lot that protects consumers from the likes of this practice because this seems like something they're going to try and manipulate and take advantage of going forward that's absolutely mind-blowing and again i do have a bias against ubisoft granted um it's a love-hate relationship but that is bullshit there's like benefits to online digital stuff because it's like so many stuff you can keep forever on a computer you know and run it when it's server-sided that's when i find the issue but also when it's a game that's kind of gated behind the ubisoft launcher they have full control over that yeah you, like you know what like i mean if you can't do anything can you maybe just leave it on steam can you put it on steam no but the steam connects to ubisoft which yeah. connects to their launcher that's how we do uno yeah. uno connects when you download on steam it's connected to the launcher of ubisoft or you connect whatever it is they're monopolizing they have full control it offered refunds to those who recently purchased it that's good in fairness that is good here it is this is my point some of these people said they had planned to set a private service to play the game an option that is now impossible that's what I'm saying. If you're going to get rid of the servers, allow peer-to-peer -peer private games. That shouldn't be that demanding on a server. But the principle is, if a person pays for something, they should have full ownership of the product. That's it. This is what I find absolutely bonkers. When people pay like crazy money for digital content. Now I've done it because I'm a moron. I can Clash Rail or Pokemon Go. But like, dude, I think that like for a normal non-Nogla person buying digital items, if it doesn't actually like make your gaming experience different or better why do it because they're going to come out with another version of the game you know especially with call of duty like they're eventually going to like can shut down those servers Just imagine having like an, a 50 dollars skin maybe even 10 of them or whatever and it's shut down absolute madness so i don't yeah i'm definitely definitely thumbs down tnn news gives us a thumbs down please let people keep their shit find a way around it we're sorry changing the game's identity but keeping the name and ip what's this british adventurer larcraft will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth as evil hat productions and crystal dynamics seek to redefine tomb raider series in order to escape its colonial past what are you seeing this brian yeah, but I'm trying to understand the colonial past. Because it's like white person going to our country to get treasure, aka stealing. I don't know. I don't. Like, aka Indiana Jones, aka most fucking museums. Yeah, but it, like, isn't the whole premise is that like they're unearthing it and protecting the products, and and then they stop the bad people from getting them to do evil things with them? Yeah, trying to sell it for money and put it in the black market, and then they're trying to put in their museum of. If you know historical artifacts, yeah, like it, there's clearly a right or wrong there, you know. But it's like I feel like this is going to be go bad. This this already reeks of this game will cost twenty million and make a million. That's that's basically what I see right here. Like Tomb Raider Shadows of Shit sounds like it's ready for its own tomb. <laughs> that is a banging tweet. I don't think we're going to say anything better than that. It's like wokeism trying to hijack traditional media and stories to propagate their own ideology while simultaneously 
hoping to make some money but look great at the same time yeah yeah it's it, dude it's a it's a it's a recipe for disaster i think personally if you have kind of leftist ideals that are anti-traditional and you want your ideals to be in a video game please make a fresh ip please do something original and don't ruin loved and adored traditional ips I, I think that should be a basic rule if you want your new progressive ideology to be accepted make new ips to go along with it there you go that's it everything he said and more shadows of truth thought process and role play <laughs> fucking hell oh my gosh what? do you want to get even more angry following his commentary on the thought process behind our coverage of tomb raider shadows of truth this week a tabletop tabletop rpg being developed okay all right all right okay the following passages from the tomb raider shadows of truth rule book rule book all oh, right answering the question what then is raiding fucking hell Oh my gosh, who did they hire? Woke new students from college. It's the colleges, man. They're funded by the left and they're brainwashing the kids. It operates on the assumption of finders keepers that grants raiders with the means and the drive to claim ownership of artifacts regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim to the treasure. Honestly, finders keepers do be kind of a banging rule though. <laughs> it worked in my house when I was growing up. Later games released in the franchise have started the work of addressing this by having Lara Croft have smaller boobs and acknowledge her past mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes <laughs> into contact with. Smaller boobs. She has also Number worked one. to reform Raider culture. Raider culture. Never in my life would I ever uh, Raider yes. culture. It's not culturally, culturally appropriate when they're Raiden. Yeah, and raise their awareness of her peers. Well, maybe you, people who are creating this game, are Raiding Ironically, Tomb Raider. <laughs> Maybe they're raiding Tomb Raider by raiding it with what they think Tomb Raider should raid. You ever think of that? Huh? Yeah, That's they, yeah, fucking ironic. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Wrap your yeah, head on that one. Yeah, raiding the raid of of They're, of they're, ra they're raiding yeah. themselves. What right do they have? What would Lara say on this? Why are they speaking on Lara's exactly. behalf? Exactly. Have they, have they spoken they, to Lara? Have they considered Lara's opinion on this? I or don't are know. they controlling Lara? But they're controlling, just putting women, you know, in. Yeah, in, telling women what to do. No, no, Indiana Jones is going to do that. You're a woman. We'll tell you what you can raid. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you can raid the fucking kitchen. I'm <laughs> joking. How about you get in that cave, get me a goddamn sandwich? Laura no longer decorates her mantle and mythic artifacts as a writer. She prioritizes seeking out the truth. Much of this game is inspired by humanity, struggle with heroism, and her tenacity. We believe that all three aspects are an important composition for a failure in creating a game that celebrates history and culture while acknowledging the respect and work required to live in a world wounded by colonialism. Oh, fuck off. In this game, we seek to continue in that oh, work alongside fuck Crystal off. Dynamics. This is so whitewashing fucking. Oh, my Lord. Crystal Dynamics, American, based in California. Fucking, yeah. We made the Gex series. <laughs> Look at this Reddit. I can't wait to see who Gex said. Gexy sidekick is Gex Tree. They are the first screens of the latest addition to the Gex franchise. Not much is known about the scaly sequel. It is still very early, except that its levels will predominantly poke and fawn, poke and fun at nursery rhymes, among other things. Gex is also rumored to have a sexy and famous new sidekick. We'll keep you posted. That's why they're doing this Tomb Raider thing. They feel bad about giving Gex a sexy sidekick from 1995. <laughs> The guilt went on to 2024. The flatulator. So they made this game where they have a fucking lizard walking in a door called the flatulator. This oh, studio yeah. used to be And now they're dope. turning around and they're like, yeah. oh no. Oh, what the fuck? That's gross. This, so the Isn't same it? company that made Tomb Raider yeah. made, Tomb Raider made so this? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? Is that was Dude. like a fetish and like disgusting grossness all in one go. Bro, this studio has done a full 180. Yeah, they have. This would be the kind of game where like Gex is going around. There's like some blonde bird with like big titties just for no reason whatsoever. Just like made by like these 40 year old overweight guys in a studio making some game. Oh, look, there's a sidekick. You cannot tell me the same fucking company that's making this yeah. Tomb Raider game made this 20, yeah. 20 yeah. years ago. What? 
Gex. It's like Gex was like Conker's Bad Fur Day. Now we gotta research Evil Hat Productions. Evil Hat Productions, they're best known for free indie RPG games. Thirsty Sword Lesbians? There's no fucking way the people that made Thirsty Sword <laughs> Lesbians are making Lara Croft now? What the hell is going on? What is going on? Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. My name is Tiana Red Hansen, and today we'll be talking about how to play Thirsty Sword Lesbian. Okay, okay. I, there. I think for the for the safety and, and the future of TNN, we need to move on. Where's the actual gameplay? Hey people, I'm Carlos Luna, content producer here at Roll20, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through the game Thirsty Sword Lesbian, so you can start playing as quickly as possible. The title is so good. There's no place for misogyny, transphobia, racism, or other forms of bigotry. Honestly, it's starting to make a lot of sense why they hate colonialism and and all that stuff. I'm seeing a lot of yapping here, folks, but not a lot of fucking gameplay. It must be an RPG or, or, or some card game or something. It must be some role play fucking thing like Second Life or something. I don't okay, know. This is someone actually this playing. It. Oh, for fuck. Her name's a GRRK again. Oh, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> There's so many commenters that are going to be so. This is going to end so bad. This person's called the Game Master. Oh, my gosh. This is so good. Sure, bro. Are she gay? <laughs> <laughs> he gay, she gay, they all oh, gay. Oh, dude. Oh, she, her, the gay gam, gay gam, gay gam. I, thought, I pointed that out. You didn't, you didn't listen? Okay, no offense. I'm sure they're all very nice people. I'm sure they're all really nice people and they're trying to do the right thing, but Tomb Raider is fucked. Gay gam uh, got me laughing. Not gonna lie. Never heard that <laughs> Everyone's reaction to Star Wars Outlaws pricing. What is it with Ubisoft getting in fucking trouble with money? They're just scum. They took my hundred grand away. <laughs> They're horrible. Yeah. Well, let's watch. Apparently, it's very overpriced for whatever it is. Each of you represents some of the most powerful criminal organizations. I'm not gonna lie, this is already looking like this image here already looks like I'm never gonna see this amount of action in the game. You remember Starfield was a Starfield where they showed a lot of action? Yeah, and then you played the game and it was nothing you were promised. I genuinely believe that that is what this game is gonna turn out like. I'm maybe. Here you live and die by your reputation. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's just been you next. <laughs> Doing what we have to to survive. Star Wars Outlaws pre-order available now. This is on August. Okay. All right. Oh my God, bro. Oh hell no, man. What the fuck, man? That looked like a whole lot of nothing from that trailer. Like the, the the like the one bad guy you saw got taken down by a squirrel or whatever it was. It's not like an online RPG, one of these big worlds that you all just like play on. Why is that game? Yes, but a statue. Yes, yeah, nice little custom book or whatever. It's ridiculous what pre-order stuff is becoming, and it's so tempting to just do it because you want an advantage. But I'm not really sure what the game's like, you know. Or another is that forty dollars more? Okay, yep. you get the season pass, which I assume is like three, lots of different three, things. And three days early, by the three way. Three days early, yeah. Okay, and then 130 gives you some bundles, so like. You don't even get a real art book. You just get a digital one. No, you get digital and then digital assets like new uh, new clothing. Well, that's for another $20. You basically get two bundles and a digital art book, which you probably never look at. And then you can pay $18 a month to... Basically the, the Xbox Pass thing. Yeah, Xbox so. Pass both for you play. Which honestly, dude, man, if you're like subscribed to all these, choo, dude, you're going to be taking a fat amount of money out of your check each month. Well, look at this one. I love this guy. This guy is a legend. It's a Gundam. How does it feel to have lived long enough to see all of your favorite franchises go down in flames? Feels great. <laughs> <laughs> Basically what they're doing to fucking Star Wars. Oh, Star Wars has gone to shit. Once what George sold to oh, Disney, it, it's just been an absolute disaster. He, he, talks, he talks a lot about similar well, stuff that we, here we go again. talk about Disney right now. Disney praised the bloated, rotted husk that was once a pop culture icon. For another failed business venture, <laughs> Indiana Star Jones. Wars. I did watch the recent Indiana Jones movie. It was rough. I'm glad I didn't watch it. Kathleen Kennedy. 
We now have- Oh, South Park shit on Kathleen Kennedy. Have you watched the Disney South Park episode? No. Where they shit on Kathleen? No. You gotta watch it. It's fucking amazing, dude. Good, cause she's useless. She was George's assistant. Yeah. And then somehow, I don't know how Kathleen Kennedy worked her way up the ranks. And then when Iger came in from Disney, they put her in, is she, how is she qualified? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like everything she's done with Star Wars has just been a flop. But look at this tweet he dug up. Ninja says parents should parent their kids citing that it's not his job to teach kids about racism and white privilege. Just, yeah, he plays Fortnite. He dyes his hair and does dumb dances. Yeah, come on. Ninja is boasting about his white privilege by doing this. He has the potential to influence millions of kids and chooses to be a sack of beans. What an insult. Use your platform for good if you have the opportunity. Don't do a ninja. You know what? In fact, I will not use my platform for good, Brian. <laughs> no, I don't think we've ever used our platform for good. Respect is called a Call of Duty for the promotion of weed, but removing Nick Marks for his leave the kids alone comment. After we release Barnum's turning enemies into joints and bongs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is fucking hilarious. Activision pushing water bongs, marijuana, get high level drugs and $100 cameras on gamers. But they removed Nick Mark's skin for him saying, leave the kids alone. Activision ran by a bunch of idiots. Biggest suit and tie phonies in the industry. I will say, how exploitive is that? Like most people that probably play COD are below the ages of 18. To have shit that expensive and be pro drugs. It's like, it's like COD pretty much wants people to just be high playing COD and give their money for shit skins. It's like, it's actually bonkers. Like as funny as that is, <laughs> as funny as that is, <laughs> like that shit's funny. That shit is yeah. funny, but it's the pricing I am kind of like. People that smoke a lot of weed don't exactly have high productive jobs. They need all the money they can get for weed. It should be cheap. It should be cheap. That's the only issue I have. I think it's hard to have a lot of moral grandstanding when you're Activision. Like when you're a company, like the more people you employ, the more likely you've got someone in there that is basically pure evil. You know, it's kind of hard to have more grandstanding as a company. I don't mind if individuals from a company speaks about stuff, but as a whole company, it's like, come on, you know, you got stuff. It's too many people. You employ too many people. There's going to be some guy there that did something that you didn't want to get out because of PR and you brushed it under the rug. Just that's just how it is. What do you think, Brian? I just used hand sanitizer as an imaginary egg timer. Hmm. We'll move on. <laughs> Former Blizzard president suggests you should be able to leave a $10 or $20 tip for the devs because some games are that special. Fuck off. How about you just do your fucking job? Ooh. Fuck tips. <sighs> fuck tips. As a person that streams and, and happily accepts tips, <laughs> <laughs> fuck tipping culture. But the difference is when you're streaming, you're not asking people for tips. When I'm going to fucking Starbucks and someone presses a button and gives me the coffee and then fucking hands, and also this is gonna ask you a little question. You, here's the fucking question back. Why aren't you fucking getting a proper job then, you little f I, I fucking hate this tipping culture in America. It's so stupid. Hey people, hey people, a proper wage. But the uh, thing is, tipping is now a necessity mm -hmm. though, Nogla. When I'm mm -hmm. streaming, I'm oh, not yeah. saying you need to give me a tip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's more like a person busking in the street with a hat on the ground. You can walk by, you can enjoy, you can enjoy the music, whatever. You can enjoy the music and walk yeah, on, but I that's mean, there. This, and that, if you that, want that, to, there you go. Same argument could be applied to the video game. Can pay it, play it, and if you really enjoyed it, give a little more to the devs as appreciation. Shouldn't, couldn't, it, or just continue walking on and not. How much money do these game companies make? How much money does Terrorizer make? <laughs> I mean, they're like, paying. They're paying a wage. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think anyone that has given most well-off streamers money has more money than the streamer itself. Yeah, yeah, but this so. is it, like Blizzard. No, Blizzard. Are you trying to compare my company's earnings with Blizzard? No, I'm comparing the moral concept. The, for fuck your moral concept. <laughs> Work with facts. How much money do they make and they're suggesting people to tip the fucking devs? Yeah, no, I, I agree. I don't, I agree. They have eye-watering amounts of money. Yeah. And they want to take more money. Yeah. Look, if I could find another way of extracting more money out of you fuckers, I would. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not making money like Blizzard. 
It was just, That's crazy. Oh, dude, where's my egg timer? I can't believe that. Some games are just that special. No, man, you're fucking special. Ubisoft has already come under fire for single player game Star Wars Outlaws. It's a single player game with a season pass. And apparently the highly anticipated Jabba the Hutt mission is locked behind it. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. Star Wars <laughs> Outlaws is way worse than we fucking thought. So you have to pay to get some of the access to some of the best missions. Okay. Again, and enjoy it. Star Wars Outlaws. Good fucking luck. Times like this where I can't condone piracy. You two's people are on something. Perfect. As mine is done. What, what now? Every We're town hiring? needs a hero and every town needs it. It would not, no, 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 <laughs> no, there is not. That was April Fools. That's April Fools. Uh, That's Seth April Cameron Fools. Seth Plushies drop on April 20th. The next tweet is we're hiring a new social media manager. Reply with your best tweet or be Serious you. April Fools. There's no way. <laughs> That was oh, not done. That is something else. If anything, that like social media fella should be promoted. <laughs> that is god tier. I think you're only saying that because you've a YouTube's Brian. No, it's mine's done. Mine's done. They're probably not gonna work with me again. Okay, fair enough then. That is great. That is gonna get them more attention than anything. Find the date. That has to have been on April first. No, Brian, it was April 30th. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was two ah. days ago, Brian. They kept the tweet up. Yeah, the no, there's up. no way. There's, it was definitely, it was, oh. that's a joke. That is a joke, bro. There's no oh. way. There's no way hey, that person was fired. Not a chance. That is just genius marketing. <laughs> you two's, no, you two, uh, that's you, a slur. You can't say that. Oh, man. Oh. This is so fucking good. That is amazing. Good job, you twos. Good job, you twos. That is brilliant. I never seen someone suck this bad with cheats. Oh, look at that fucking bedroom. Yeah. Look at the bedroom. She looks like like a fucking lizard. She should be in that thing back there. <laughs> Under that heated lamp. The eyebrows are amazing. Like angry Vegeta. Who came across this? I love the crosshair size. Game sound is insanely loud. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love how every she does it. Possible. She doesn't even win. Oh, God. It's incredible how you can be cheating and still that dog shit. Look at that face. Oh, Aww. my gosh. She got killed with a person with a Jewish flag as well. You know that made her extra mad. <laughs> you know that Jewish flag made her super mad. <laughs> it's, it's the Israeli flag. You don't just get the Jewish flag. Whatever. Same fucking thing. Oh, good news, Brian. Logan Paul is a Dad! Not another one. Logan Paul's a dad now, and then obviously the obvious. Who's the father? It's, 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 it's too easy. It's too easy. I get it. That's her giving birth. Yeah, because mm -hmm. her vagina is so battered, you know, the child's just going to come sliding out. I get it. Apparently, the comments are banging on Instagram, so we're going to check. We're, we're here we are. First this one, it. it's it's not your kite. <laughs> Which he sees what his mom did. There you go. It is a group project. <laughs> Um, it's a group project. Yeah. Um, again, there's a lot of congrats. To be fair, it's kind of honestly. I think it's nice to be positive when someone makes a child announcement. All right. Well, congratulations, Logan Paul. Hopefully, you have a good family and all that. And even this in the video. So if you see it, <sighs> yeah, yeah, you won't, whatever. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I try. Yeah, I try yeah. to be nice. In Ross news. Ooh, wow. KSI says he wants to stop in Ross amid him starting his boxing uh, event. He also goes on to say he wants nothing to do with Kick, despite Misfits having a deal to stream on Kick. Does KSI own Misfits? Uh, he's the CEO. Okay, so <laughs> cognitive dissonance happening here. So like with me and Aiden, I'd mm. slap him in the face. Okay. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'd slap him. What? What's like... Bro, just this don't piece, get me fucking this started. Piece, has anything not... happened other than the boxing stuff? It's, Obviously, it's all started from it's the boxing just stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so like that's even to the point where I don't even want to go and kick now because of mm -hmm. Aiden. Like, I don't want to be associated with that platform or anything to do with him. I just think he's a bit of a dickhead. Like, yes, you know, the competition's good. He's got his own boxing thing going on. Happy days. You're like, we're not there to like disturb that. We're just doing our thing as well. But when you've got <sighs> allegedly yeah. his fan base um, doxing our event and making it, you know, mm -hmm. slowing it down for two years, mm -hmm. two years, two two hours, uh, making people 
have to leave the venue, having police come in, have to check around to see if there's a yep. actually in there. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of shitty. <laughs> that's kind of shitty. I will be. I'll, I will be honest. I, I, there's a lot of communities that once they get to a certain point of toxicity and a certain point of fame, the fans kind of own the creator. The creator does not own themselves. They don't own their own decisions. They don't own what they say. They, they, nothing is, is accountable to them anymore because their, their fan base is just in control of everything, really. And I 100% think Aiden Ross's fan base is a kind of in, in control of them. They're kind of like brainwashing each other. That's the weird thing. Usually when someone's getting brainwashed, it's one person doing it to the other with, you know, malicious intent. I think they're all fucking dumb as dog shit. And they've, they're just riding on the coattails of whatever the fuck is popular. And uh, here we are. We're on TNN News. Welcome, guys. We talk about whatever is popular. But like, I had the Aiden Ross fans after me for a while. Uh, just some something I said about him popped off. Let me see. And it got a lot of people mad. And I honestly did not give a single fuck. Uh, dude, it wasn't even that bad of a fucking tweet. So Ty Aiden Ross says he's going to be in GTA 6. He's not. There's a lot of creators that deserve to be characters in GTA 6. And he ain't even in the conversation. Agreed. And then... Drama Alert just hates Wildcat. Two saw boys trigger that Aiden Ross is in GTA 6. Drama Alert basically hates Jake Lucky and Wildcat. That's just the long story short. Yeah. And then yeah, I yeah. just tweeted, oh, Mr. Aiden Ross, you taste so good, which is the classic Vanus, you taste so good line. And it got like th 2 million views. And uh, people are like, apparently I'm mad because I'm irrelevant. I'm not in GTA. It's just painful. It's just, it's, it's, it's just, it's just painful. You can care so much about a creator to dox and ruin events. It's like, how insecure do you have to be? That's my opinion. They might get mad at me again, but I don't really give a shit. So we'll move on. Want to say anything, Brian? No, I don't really give a shit about Aiden. I think he's stupid, to be honest. But I don't, I'm not upset. Like he's, if he's in the game, he's in the game. I'll definitely run him over. <laughs> I'll, I'll run him. I was going to literally say, I'm going to run him over. Like I'm going to, I'm going to kill him. But in the game, in the game. No, honestly, it wouldn't bother me to the point where I feel I have to like voice my opinion on on Twitter. I was like, just I, mean like I'm not. It, it didn't bring me to that point at all. No. It's just like, eh, whatever. Like I see your man uh, Speed, who I think is an absolute bell end. Mm. Uh, let, let's be, let's be honest. But in WrestleMania. And it's just like, oh god, it's just sad for I, how I, like, wrestling's I, I gone to. But that's yeah. it. It's just, it is what it is. Just whatever. Just I, move I on. don't really mind me personally. I don't hate the guy. I just don't find him entertaining at all. Yeah. I, it's just loud equals funny. I could be accused of being loud, thinking loud is funny. I get that too. But with him, it's him. He's literally just barking at, at Randy Orton, and I'm like, this is a new low for wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> You ever feel oh, yes. people? Not at Central Houston Nissan. I love Nissan. I've got a bunch of these saved for Nogla in our next uh, TikTok Instagram video. I love these. These are some of my new favorite trends of people falling over and it turns into something. Oh, here's another one. Come to Central Houston Nissan where we have car washes for life. Wow. 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 That's one of the best. That is one of the this best. Is that is so brilliant. I fucking love Nissan. Get ready, Iran. <laughs> Get ready with me to sign up for the military. I'm signing up for the military because I know my cat-like instincts would be very helpful in combat. And because I think Bacchus look super cute in a military uniform. I'll be frolicking around in a pink uniform, though. If they're not okay with me wearing pink, they're gonna have to deal with my kitty wrath. This is, has to be a fucking insane parody. If World War III does break out and there is a draft, the idea of James Charles going to war is one of the funniest fucking things in my life. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a tweet I made recently. If there's a World War III, I think all influencers should be drafted to the front line to sand first. Four days later, Iran fucking bombed Israel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go ahead, Hassan. Show them what you care. Go over there. <laughs> it's not enough to boycott Coca-Cola Zero. You need to get out there, Hassan. Get out there brother soldier shows off his drag outfit oh boy very nice skin though i would say he's got what's his skincare routine yeah exactly why i knew it i was about to say when he goes great skin i looked up and i went oh wait a second <laughs> wait a second oh uh, it's definitely someone that wears makeup. <laughs> that skin is well maintained. She was like, oh my god, I could never wear that. And I was like, let me show you how to. If China's watching, they're like, uh, No, dude, dude, we, dude, dude. We could take them. Dude, if I saw this, 
fucking running at me in the war, war zone, I'd be like, we're fucked. This would be way more terrifying. You don't think this, this would be terrifying if it was fucking running at you with a gun? No. Oh, okay. Well, then I think so. It would be dead in a millisecond. Running in high heels, stumbling, it's dead. Why does Planet Fitness allow this? Okay, let's see. There it is. I don't understand. Oh. Well, that's just being helpful. It's just being helpful. Yes. This is Amaranth uh, with their Tier three top sub. only fans contributor. Yeah, whatever you want to call him. Oh, at least they blurred his face. Yeah, you know, data nice. protection. Yeah, I gotta protect his dignity. <laughs> or whatever's left of it. Yeah. Yeah, this is rough. This is rough. This is this looks like you helping Vanos in the gym. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, that's me helping Vanos in the gym. Never mind. Never mind. That's never me mind. helping Vanos in the gym. Right there. All right, all right. I didn't know that was about to happen. No, neither did I. But your timing was uh, absolutely Im Im impeccable, there, Brian. Well, that's the news, lads. That's the news. Here's the news. The next draft for the U.S. military is going to be an absolute banger. You know about Discord getting the most views in 24 hours? So they basically had something that automatically like. Play it, I think, for everyone on Discord. Yeah, I got, I, I got it. This loot box yeah, fucking thing. Yeah, Discord is trying so hard to fucking make money as well. It's kind of crazy. But it got 150 million views. Wow. <laughs> Number one trending. So Discord managed to create a working YouTube view bot. The loot box announcement trailer on loop in the background of their in in app. Have you not seen like uh, in Spotify like uh, view mines? It's like a warehouse filled with iPhones. And it's just, it's like this AI generated warehouse where they just listen to music to get like artists up the top of the of the charts. Oh, I see what you mean. That's what I used to do when I started YouTube. I used to, I used to refresh my video to get to 10 views, but they, they were all just me. <laughs> yes, I got 10 views. Multiple accounts. Yeah. In the beginning, the first, I think, year or so of YouTube, I used to upload a video on my other account and like the video. <laughs> I'd like my- How many accounts? Just one? Just one. Just one. So I had my main one, I would like it, and then I would want someone else to like it so badly that I would go on my other account and like it myself and like, phew. And then go back to your other account and be like, like ooh, <laughs> two likes, two likes, two likes. That was me when I started YouTube. I was YouTube farming with two phones. <laughs> So basically, yeah, so now we're coming into the, the world where this could be like what is happening, where people can manipulate a, an algorithm with like an entire, just pay for a warehouse just to like watch your video. There's a lot of creators that view botted early on, man. They're big. There's a lot of, there's a lot of allegations of view botting on kick as well. Yeah, I won't be surprised if it turns out a lot of people like are view botting. I know Vanos didn't view bot though. It's hard to track down like, how can you tell like this warehouse usually, that's like, like automated? I feel like you can usually tell the video is view botted if it's comments and likes are kind of very off yeah I, I definitely can tell i have one or two bots because like i always get like it's always a comment saying wow your videos are so inspirational and it's normally a picture of a woman with massive tits yeah yeah that's a bot youtube's had that issue forever yeah and it keeps coming back what is it trying to achieve i don't know this is a weird like iteration of the of the bot with the big tits like normally they used to say like sexual stuff or whatever now it's just like inspirational quotes like wow your videos really inspire me and i can't wait to drive on today or whatever. I actually replied to one without looking at the profile yeah. picture and Elia said to me like a day later, why'd you reply to that girl in your fucking comment section with her ass out? I'm like, what are you talking about, Elia? You're like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, Elia, what are you fuck? what are you talking about? Ain't no, what, the light bulb clicked. That was a fucking bot and I never looked at the profile picture. I just replied to you her nice comment. You just look so thirsty. Elia was 100% judging me. Oh, man. Anyways, single mom gets rejected. No man wants to raise another man's child and be the cleanup guy. Pass. All right. Interesting. Interesting take in a highly divorced society. <laughs> With a lot of baby daddies and baby mamas and stepdads and stepmoms. And let's see. This comment. This comment right here. Um... I really don't think that he's speaking for all men. Um, <laughs> I know that there will be somebody that steps up one day um, to be some sort of father figure for my child. And it's also very 
Like, I'm very surprised that you felt comfortable actually typing this out and commenting on someone's video. Like, it's just the wildest thing. You don't know my circumstances with my child, um, or his father, and yeah, that's basically it. Stickers now available, my god. Yeah, this guy made a song. This guy's a legend. Being a single mom is so freaking hard. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. You let him hit it raw. You're a single mom. I fucking love this shit. You let him hit it raw. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. You said I'm a hattest kid. Don't care if he's here. Oh, dude, this guy is a legend, bro. He just finds TikToks of single moms upset and then just fucking does this. No nada. <laughs> no nada. Spanish one. It's just this, this man has probably made no so nada. much money on his stupid fucking merch. No nada. <laughs> in front of a Nike in NYC where animal rights activists were rallying in front, a man comes off the streets and starts mocking the activists and eats shush kebab. This is bright. This is bright for another. <laughs> in front of the activists, activists start yelling at the man. I can't wait. You're disgusting. What do you think you are? You're just a coward. Oh my god. But you're small. Do you know the Bible has something to say about vegans? The Bible is just incredible. It has an opinion on everything. I'm sure it has a verse about Aiden Ross as well in there. Oh, definitely has a verse about Aiden Ross. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Yeah, the truth that meat is fucking gorgeous. <laughs> There's the Bible saying, it's not good, man. It's not good. This whole, like, not eating meat thing. Did you know that, Brian? No, I did not. Why did you not like that? I thought you might like that. Why will talking against vegans you don't like vegans no yeah 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 but just fucking more 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 yapping about the bible i mentioned the bible once brian and it's more been bible three yapping. hours Every, and i mentioned the bible a video? once can we go a video without the old bible yeah we can talk about amaranth for 20 minutes but the bible for a minute is we, too long we don't talk about amaranth every video you talked about amaranth about for 20 minutes and the bible for and a minute was too now long i tell you the bible's got a chapter yeah, for that yeah Let yeah me brian can talk about out. twitch tots all day Let but he's Brian's manifesting right now. I gotta pull out the cross. Where is it? Like evil opinion. Back. Step back, Brian. Step back. <laughs> Sean Fontero, actor of no. Franklin Clinton. It's no! 56. From GTA 5, Franklin. Is he actually dead? Well, that's what they're saying. You never know, man. It's all a lot of lies. No, he's alive. It was his birthday. Wow. Yeah, it was his birthday. Yeah, it was his birthday. He's 56. Wait, that's the <laughs> same tweet that they just changed the fucking... This is it. Wait, this, what? They didn't even say he died, Brian. They just said this is Wait, him. Wait, go back to now. After Franklin Clinton, age 56. They didn't say he died. He just had a black and white profile picture. Oh, my God. Did my brain interpret <laughs> that as dead? <laughs> oh, my Lord. That scared the shit out of me. Look at him up there. Delighted on his 56th birthday. What a great time. What a great time. Did we just do a news thing of someone's birthday and I it straight away saw black and white and thought he was dead? Oh my god. TNN news, boys. TNN news. No, in the fucking captions is ripped. My brother did that to fuck with you. You're a fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that emotion roller coaster right there. That really fucked at me. Alright, funny MMA match. <laughs> oh, I've seen this. This is great. What was it? TKO? Who won there? Was it gravity? <laughs> reason reason of loss. Gravity. TKO by gravity. Oh. That was it. 
That was it. Okay, hold on. So I love the dumb, weird shit you see from like foreign <laughs> MMA. So the UFC got the BMF, baddest motherfucker. That one, they got the fattest motherfucker. <laughs> FMF. <laughs> Time for the FMF <laughs> fight. <laughs> American patriarch Johnny Somatic goes crazy and urges Israeli officers to free a Jewish baddie under arrest. A Jewish baddie? I think yeah, that wasn't on my bingo card. Okay, look, America, watch this shit. America, CNN out here, Fox News, like, America, watch this. Oh my God, they're carrying a... Yo, let her go, let her go, guys, come on. Yo, come on, what y'all doing, man? She Jewish and like you. What the f*** is Jewish on Jewish violence? What is going on? Yo, put the down, put the down. Yo! Yo, what the f on? Yo, what the f is going on? Yo, put the f down! Put the f down! Put the f down! Look at that pretty Put the f down! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! This is. I'm America, don't touch me, Don't touch me, Don't touch me, I'm America. Don't touch me, I'm from America. Don't touch me. I slap that, <laughs> grab it too. Donald Trump told me, <laughs> I'll grab that too. Stop playing with me. Oh I'll grab you, I'll grab you by the right here. I don't give a fuck. Oh, Jesus. Bro, he's brave. Stupid, you mean. Whoa. Stupid. I would not be messing around with them. Jesus Christ. Here's a bit of good news. This fella, Ryan, this guy's cool. Yeah, Russ Cook. AKA this guy has just spent over 350 days running the entire length of Africa, more than, more than 16,000 kilometers while raising over $700,000 for charity. What a legend. Finally, some good news. Oh, thank God. We need more good now news. Now Nogla can end his racism against gingers. Congratulations. Yes. A great representation for yes. gingers all around the world. I like gingers now. <laughs> You're right. This is only fans. Oh, bro. I... I kind of seen this and I guessed who I thought it was and then I kind of got bored of watching it and walked away. Can I tell you who I thought it was? I kind of felt like who looks like they could have money and also is trying to dress up for the age. So 11 straight away, no. Didn't dress up. Right. Doesn't give a shit. 49, too, too metro, too like good looking to be dumb enough to waste that much money uh -huh. away. Okay, yeah. One looks like a guy that... Hasn't even been on OnlyFans. He's too. He's, he definitely goes to church. So it's between two and twenty-eight. Uh -huh. Twenty-eight ain't got no money. So my bet it's on number two. He looks like the kind of person that definitely watches on Twitch. He's in tech. He's got money. He could be a little okay. of the tism. I don't know. But if it turns out to be eleven, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Yeah, they could. there could be some mind games going on here, too. It's between 2 and 28, for sure. I'm actually going to go with number one. No, he's too sweet. Do you guys feel like you can confidently say who it is? His heartbeat was re going really fast. She doesn't even know who her top donor is. Juan is leaving. It's been a pleasure. It's between, it's between one and two! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she thought it was between one and two, but she got rid of one, so she ultimately thinks it is two. Let's listen here real carefully. Will the real top donor please step forward? Number two. Hey. Yes! I won a thing! I finally won something! You almost flipped it at the end. So, so, the fact he knew the last year Argonia and made thing, I was like, oh, that's an OG. That's an OG one. That, I don't even was... know if I have pictures of that on my Instagram anymore. You, you, you do. I do? You do. That's oh, exactly never guy's, mind. That guy's a sin. Never mind. He's second. He's second top He's, donor. They literally just mixed up one and two. <laughs> Put them together. Oh, you definitely do still have it on Instagram. Tried to pick the most obscure. You're smart. For this one. Okay. So all your answers today just came straight from research. I wasn't aware of who you were until <laughs> I walked into the green room. Uh -huh. And then I sat down and harassed Corey for information. <laughs> and uh, then I literally, everything that I said was pulled directly from what was available to me. When we were on our break, I told what? Corey I was going to subscribe to your OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, to, just to win. Just to win, of course. Just, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just to win. Yeah. <laughs> a few months later. Oh, man, I forgot about this. Yeah, <laughs> I dude, forgot I'm still subscribed. Is, this is such a fucking degenerate idea, but also pretty funny. Sip 101, he spent thousands of dollars a got within 20 feet of her. <laughs> Oh my god. Number 11 is brave for doing this while having a girlfriend. Apparently that guy in the middle has a girlfriend and he did this fucking show. What an absolute mad lad. They did like weird kinky shit and then checked their heartbeat. No. <laughs> bro, bro, he's, he's he, he has he's, a girlfriend. He, he, <laughs> bro, his heartbeat his bro, his heartbeat should be true the roof. I have a girlfriend at home. I'm gonna fucking no oh my god, you oh, know. Oh no, his his heartbeat should be racing. That was, uh, that was good. <laughs>
He's gonna stand His heartbeat like, should be racing for the wrong <laughs> reasons. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a number one. You gotta see who's. Ha oh oh my days. He did the fucking uh, prayer remote. Wow. Look at that. All clean. Hey, great. Hey, clean, clean play, play club. club. Great work, boys. Great work. You knew it wasn't him. You know why you knew it wasn't him straight away? He got up too quickly. That guy yeah, yeah, wanted yeah. to stay on the ground. Yeah. Look at that face. Yeah, look at the look. He was looking into her eyes. He was looking at every single dollar. This man. Every Benjamin. Every Benjamin <laughs> he's invested in this. He is absorbing every moment. This guy got up very quickly, but he played a good game, though. He played a good game. Yeah. I think the point is that the four have to try and fool the person. I think it's absolutely hilarious. Number 11's reaction for the fact that he had a girlfriend the whole time is so funny. Yeah. You can see that the mental... The reservations. <laughs> look, at, look at this. He's like... Oh, God damn it, Eugene, this is a bad idea. <laughs> They're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is that, folks, for TNN News. Terrorizer and Noglin News, thank you very much, folks. What a roller coaster. If you have any things you would like for us to cover, please suggest so on Twitter by adding me, or uh, just me, actually, because Brian probably won't look. We appreciate it. This is going to be a bi-weekly series every two weeks, and hopefully less thoughts and more positive. Positivity. With that being said, Brian. Bye. Hit the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and all the good stuff.